Good morning! Today on Musical Menus, I am feeling a little bit French! No. What? Don't you like my French accent? Is, is it, I've been practicing for days? Okay, fine. Uh, today on Musical Menus, I'm going to be making one of the most versatile French dishes, a crepe. Now, crepes can be a little bit fiddly to make, but you can actually just buy them from the supermarket if you don't want to make them yourself. So today I'm going to make three dishes. I'm going to start with a salmon roulade, which is a gorgeous canapé, and then I'm going to use all these beautiful fresh ingredients here. For the main course, we're going to have a baked crepe stuffed with mushrooms and spinach, and we're going to finish off with a dessert with baked apples and berries. First, let's make the crepes. Into a food processor, put two cups of milk, two eggs, one cup of plain flour, a pinch of salt, and one tablespoon of melted butter. Mix this all together, transfer to a jug, and put in the fridge for about an hour. While the crepe batter is resting in the fridge, let's get on to our fillings. Now, first of all, I'm going to do the mushroom filling that's going to go in our baked crepe for dinner. I'm going to use some Swiss brown and some white mushrooms, and I've also rehydrated some dried mushrooms to give it a real beautiful umami hit. Slice up one red onion and two or three cloves of garlic. Then transfer them to a frying pan with some butter and olive oil. Cook until they're soft. Slice up 450 grams of mixed mushrooms. Add the mushrooms to the onions and cook down for about 10 minutes. Now we need to add some white wine to the mixture. Unfortunately, all of my wine seems to have evaporated, so I'll be using veggie stock. Pour in half a cup of white wine or veggie stock, one heap tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one heap tablespoon of whole grain mustard, and some salt and pepper. Let this cook down until the liquid is almost gone. Once the liquid is boiled down, add two big handfuls of baby spinach and stir until it's completely wilted. Then add half a cup of toasted pine nuts, half a cup of diced pickles, the zest from one lemon, and finally, two tablespoons of sour cream. I'm just going to set this aside to cool and we'll move on to our dessert. For dessert, I'm going to be stuffing a crepe with some apples stewed in chai tea with some dates and walnuts. First thing I've got to do, peel the apples and cut them into eighths. So I'm going to cook our apples in a beautiful strong cup of chai tea. This one's got two tea bags in it. You can use the real stuff if you want. If you want to pump up the flavour, you could add a little bit of ginger and cinnamon or nutmeg. Then I'm going to add some sugar and a little bit of vanilla and cook them down for about 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. Once the apples are cooked, you can turn off the heat and add half a cup of dates sliced in half and half a cup of chopped walnuts. Let the whole mixture cool down in the liquid. 
Now it's time to make our crepes. First thing you're going to have to do is get out your crepe pan. But what, you don't, you don't have a crepe pan? Ah, okay. The first thing you need to do is go and buy a crepe pan. Oh wait. Oh, are you back? Are you ready now? Great, let's make some crepes. Now, making crepes can be a bit fiddly. You've got to have the pan not too hot, not too cold. You've got to have your crepe batter the right consistency, and then you've basically just got to hope it all works out. The first one will never work out, but we're not going to worry about this. Here we go. It's time to make our first dish. This is a really tasty little canapé called salmon roulade. Now you're going to need a few things. So down here we've got our dill crepe all ready to go. Some beautiful smoked salmon. Some baby capers. Some dill for a garnish. And I've made a little combination here of creme fraiche, salt, pepper, and lemon zest. You can't get creme fraiche, you can use sour cream. mushroom filling. so they look gorgeous. We've got our apple mixture, which I've heated up a little bit in the microwave. Some fresh fruit. This is a beautiful berry sauce with some frozen berries, sugar, port, cooked down, whizzed up, and then put through a sieve. And of course, some ice cream.
humble crepe. If you want the recipe, you can go to musicalmenus.com.au and find me on Facebook and Instagram. And please hit subscribe on YouTube. So now I just need to find a name for this episode. I'm thinking maybe crepe licious. No. Oh. Um. Oh, crepe efficient. No. Crepe Oh, Crepe amazing. Oh. I've got it. This episode is crepe 